this is Bug Powder Dust. Thank you for joining me for episode 5 of my uh, RimWorld Faction side playthrough, where we are still in the throes of recovering from the massive base fire, which was started by a, a failure cascade, let's just say. And uh, we managed to save a quarter <laughs> of the base. So if you've missed that and you want to go back and watch it, go and watch episode 3. It was uh, interesting, to say the least. So we're currently living a bit, little bit of a... Um, hand-to-mouth existence with uh, with food we are short of food critically so I'm inclined just to um, just plant on any patch that I can get and stick some rice in the ground because honestly rice is where it's at in terms of growing fast and I mean by patch of ground I mean rich soil patch of the ground so if we can get some rice in the ground we can get some food very quickly maybe a high yield because that's not what rice is about but it means that it will grow quickly all right. Now, um, a couple of things I want to mention. Firstly, I want to thank each and every one of you. Um, I don't really watch these things closely because that's not what this channel is about. But I have reached 5,000 subscribers. So thank you very, very much. It's been absolutely fantastic uh, progress since, I don't know, February? I think things started picking up. And then obviously with the, um, with the, the lockdown, I've not been driving to work, which means I've had a little bit more time in the day uh, to, um, to produce these videos. I'm not losing time to commuting. Um, and obviously uh, there's a lot of you out there with more spare time on your hands so thank you very much for supporting the channel I really do appreciate it I think we've got a lovely community of people together here um, who, who regularly visit and regularly uh, uh, interact with me and the channel and, and, and others out there and, uh, and also who join my streams on Sunday so it's worth me mentioning of course that um, the uh, Sunday stream is always on unless I say otherwise 8.30pm um, British summer time that's UTC and GMT plus one and uh, we'll be carrying on with our tribal uh, tribal start which we've um it's doing reasonably well although the entire base is made of wood <laughs> so given what's happened here i think we might get into stone cutting a little bit quicker than i probably would have normally and um and get on with that although having said that we have got five people to put out the fire any fires that might start the other thing i wanted to also notice thank you to the biv who suggested a another mod i'm getting sucked into the the whole um modosphere but this is just a UI fix, a UI tweak, Q, Q, uh, QOL, quality of life fix. And what it does is it shows you what weapons are on the map and who's got them. But also it compares their values, so damage, range, cooldown. And this is super useful. Melee weapons, grenades, and also apparel, clothes, which is dead useful as well. Because although you could go and look this up on, on each of the the helmets, the pants, etc. It's very hard to remember all the values, so seeing it all here, and then you can arrange it by, you know, what, what's the best against heat, what's the best against cold, what's the best armour against blunt, etc. This is actually really useful having it here like that. And you can actually have it you know, switched on for the hostiles and the prisoners, so if you want to maybe target one particular hostile because they're the most dangerous, you can click it on and see what hostile's got what. Super useful. So, yesterday when I was looking for the, um, for a gun that was on the ground that I thought I had we can see there's nothing on the ground so it did get burnt up in the fire so thank you for suggesting that that's definitely a mod that I will be using moving forward very very useful indeed so thanks very much um, there we go all right let's carry on Noah's doing some um, guinea pig farming Sir's so carrying on planting which is good I am concerned about food I really don't want to have to kill Duvel for food and I will do that as a very very last resort but there is stuff on the map now. We are getting harvesting from these berries, but it's a lot of work. A lot of work to be done. I'm going to deconstruct all of these. Because we need all the wood we can get, honestly speaking. I'm going to get this set up now. This is critical. We do have limestone, which is amazing. 55 units of limestone. So let's get that up. That's 20. 50. 5. I'll make the rest of that wood. Actually, we'll put a door in there. Okay, cool. I'm going to cook in the dark, unfortunately, but we will build another one of those. Because it's relatively warm outside. Uh, torch lamps are quite good. They do heat the place up. Is the music a bit loud? The music seems a bit loud, but as long as you can hear me, okay, that's the main thing. Right, speed up. Okay, so let's take stock. You've got four people. 
each of the bedroom we have four units of food that's going to last them half a day we have guinea pigs two guinea pigs which will be turned into into food very shortly I'll try and sort out this rec room and make it a proper rec room I was going to do that up here but put storage into here but then we got rudely interrupted we do have metal which is good let's have a look so we've got construction as a priority here we got one person out hunting I think maybe two people out hunting for now what else is sir doing sir is obviously meditating right now but what's he doing now harvesting so he he is part of the uh, the food chain so to speak he is getting food those can be hunted as well I'm gonna back off hunting on the guinea pigs that's a lot of effort for not much food and we're gonna hunt boars instead it's a lot of food which is quite nice got some rice going in there okay got a couple of lights we badly need batteries I am tempted to just for now I'm gonna back George off on all of this so he just starts researching I'll let everything else play out it's probably a bit small isn't it for a freezer room just um, let's cancel these stone blocks Could do that being a bit bigger we've got 55 haven't we 30 55 and then the rest will be wood sir has broken that's a shame what was it serious pain is it these muscle muscle parasites got them sorry yeah okay to be expected it's wandering past are they yeah. it's very warm outside 34 but the bedroom's keeping quite nicely and cool tempted to stick a couple of these vents in just to equalize the temperature everywhere George working in the dark that's not great let's get another light in here and we need to move the power unfortunately we, we are okay for metal right now it's quite a lot on the map which helps I think he works faster yeah well no it's actually the outdoors is the problem rather than um, him being in the dark so what the penalty is 42% oh no out oh outdoors reduces it okay 75% room cleanliness 75% final value 42% wow that's terrible that's actually terrible all right We've got some wood lying about so it looks like stampede is moving on to the constructing which is great I'm tempted to get rid of these walls because they really are serving no purpose whatsoever we can use that wood to use down here we do need to build up this structure first before worrying about this up here so I think I'll do that for this as well well on the plus side the cotton's coming along maybe we could use that as some sort of trade material that doesn't work anymore Okay, so sirs, sirs come back. We could do with you just cleaning up your own vomit there. That'd be helpful. Um, still not happy about this stuff being here, but I don't think it, there are there are other priorities and things that we need to do. So, okay, I can hear the trees being chopped down. That's good. Still got some queued up to be chopped. Got a hamster coming in fast, which means he's normally trying to come and eat something. What are you coming to eat? Very purposeful, you're going somewhere. Hmm. There we go. Rooms uh, rooms coming up. This is this is critical. That we get this room up. Okay, we can chill dead bodies. So we don't we're not in such a rush to turn them into meat and then turn them into food and our rotten boop corpses 
animal corpses. Perfect. And also, we need to get. Um, okay, what is that? Raw resources, plant matter. Yeah, you need to get all that in there as well as a priority. If he does that lamp next. Oh. Construction botched. <coughs> it's gonna try again. Really? No, oh, we haven't uh Let's just line this up to it micro, because then we get some light. I'm not convinced. The light is going to make a difference, we shall see. No, still 42. Okay. It's the fact it's not a room, that's the problem. Ah, perfect. I think we botched that last one. I'm going to have to make that out of wood. Then we can turn that on. I think he should be on that very shortly. Let's turn it on. And the same for minus nine. Beautiful. There you go. Start to cool down. Alright. Now, I obviously missed putting foods in there as well, like an idiot. So let me just uh, let's do that quickly. Hang on. <laughs> let's, let's take food out. It's merging, not moving. Let's try that again, shall we? Pull, pull. Holding. Okay. Okay, it's a nice, cool environment. That means the pressure is now off a little bit on the food. Okay, good. That's critical. Right. The next thing we need to focus on is batteries. In order to help them do that, we need to make this a room. Quest available. Worker lending. Oh, we had this before, didn't we? One colonist for 12 days and we get 34 goodwill. Nah, we can't afford to be with anybody at the moment. It's not really an option for us um, with them all. Let's get that wall complete. Hang on, didn't want to do that. Actually, what I'll do, I was going to do what I was going to do previously, which was make this into like a workshop area. I might put a door in here. Uh, they get a buff from having a large room if I don't. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Put a door in there. And then we'll get a, a little positive from the, the statue being there as well. Yeah, 49. It's actually pretty good. Good to get this all cleaned up though, because it is filthy around here. Try and keep it clean, stop stop the old food poisoning situation. Okay, that's fine. Good. Crops in the ground, some crops in the ground. stone blocks yeah all right this is good got a decent supply of meals now need to get more wood got a little bit queued up there but we can do with chopping a little bit more plenty of granite up here when we get the stone stone building underway stone cutting Probably actually create a table for that now. Stone cuts table. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. 
Now it's George R. Crafter, he is, isn't he? Nine, four, four, and three. Yeah, it's a shame because he's uh, he's our main researcher. Who else can research? Not many. He's researching so slowly at the moment. The batteries is not a big thing, but uh, only at 40% speed due to it being... Uh-oh. Okay, now I can move 100%. Now, how many of them are... Just the one. All right. Now, get back here, dude. George doesn't have a weapon. George needs a weapon. We don't have a spare weapon. He's got burnt up. Alright, no bother. Well, you can come as well. You can use your fists. You ever punched a pig? Well, actually, you've got your... Um, your s no, you don't. It's only pain block. It's a shame. I thought you, I thought you had stun, but that's uh, not this playthrough. Go on now. Run, 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 run. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch him. Because I can't make this rhyme. Alright. Got a little bit of reinforcements here. This is good. Okay. One, two, three. Who's missing? No. No. No, no one's there. Sir is missing. Sir's coming. Wait for me, boys. He just can't move very quickly. Right, 86%. That all uh, works out okay. Thanks, sir. You can go back. Right. We're going to create a zone for, I think, stone and stuff. Let's just put it there. Uh, if I clear it and then make it for chunks, make that preferred. So then if we need to haul stuff away like this, we can do that. No, that doesn't need hauling. Okay, getting the hill root in the ground, that's beautiful. So we've got a decent amount of steel left. We've got a decent amount of components. I am tempted. We haven't got Boomlope anymore though, have we? Do Boomlopes come on these maps at all, or is it unusual that I had one because he started as a pet? Donkeys, alpacas. Okay, there's the um, ship to the stars, which is very nice of them. He's meditating down by the tree. Why is there no progress next to the next anima grass? I think I'm missing something here. Because it should grow grass and then um, he can level up. So, a quick look at this. Grow anima grass around its base. Yeah. Okay, but it just isn't growing. <gasps> Inspired taming. He'll tame the next animal regardless of difficulty. Oh my, that's amazing. What should we tame? Is there anything interesting on the map? Mega sloth. Oh yes, absolutely. Let's tame a mega sloth. I will definitely have some of that. I clicked on world by mistake. I didn't want to do that. So now I always have to fill while it's generating the planet. Hope you're all having a nice day. Alright, I always want a mega sloth as a pet. Now, who was that? Sir, okay. So let's just make this definitely correct. So, Sir is going to handle. Let's take everybody else off handling. And now I will come to this. I'm going to try and find the mega sloth and let's. <gasps> no, no usable food. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> no, no, no. Meals, processed food, liquor, kibble, vegetables, seeds, live plants. All right, come on, let's let's just let's chop a bush down quickly. Uh, that one, right, sir, come here. Can you cut that? Cut it, cut it, cut it. Right, stay there, stay there. Where's the mega sloth? There it is. Do it. Do it. All right, here he comes. He's got some food. Loving it. 
Hello, Mr. Megasloth. <laughs> Love it. Right. What should you call Mr. Megasloth? I think, um, going with the, uh, the the beer thing, I'm actually going to call him Hefe. Because Hefe is a beer, but it's also a very clever play on words. As in Hefe, as in you're the boss in Spanish. It begins with a J rather than an H, but I think that, uh, that works. Hefe. Brilliant. Good job, sir. Welcome, Hefe. You are going to be cool. Are you a pack animal? You're not a pack animal. No. Okay. Good stuff. Now, who is our hunter? Our hunter is Noah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get Noah to handle Hefe. Because I can't remember who it was who said this, but they made a very good point. If a hunter can take an animal with them when they go hunting, they are going to be that much safer if animals then turn on them. So I get Noah to do that. They will slow down his hunting, but we've only got one one dude here. So Alright. Stampede spending all his time cooking. Let's have a quick look. Let's make sure I've got these bills down. Oh, it is paused. Okay, fine. So he should he can go and do other stuff now. It's good. What actually is he doing? Making kibble. Do you know what? Actually haul that please. It's just a lot more efficient, isn't it? Of course, once you have this rice and stuff built, that'll be make the knife a lot easier. No one seems particularly keen on constructing. Come on, let's get these batteries done. George, what's George doing? Still no anima grass pro progress. Have I done something wrong here? I don't have to link it to the tree or anything, do I? I just have to... Because he's meditating down here a lot, and it says that he should be progress to the next anima grass, yet it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. If I am, please do let me know. Really do need these batteries. There you go. What would speed things up, of course, is getting some wood and sorting out his room. But everything just seems to be a lot more important than sort of plant cutting. He is our best cook, though. I'm thinking, Sir, let's Sir on cooking. Back stampede off on it. So he will construct. If he can't construct, he'll go and chop trees down, which is exactly what I want. Then he'll go back to constructing. So let's let's go with that for now. That should hopefully work. Raid. Okay, tribes people. Oops. Prepare for a while. It's a dude with a bow. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Psychopath, jealous and slothful. Jealous I can probably deal with. Slothful not so much. But an extra pair of hands is an extra pair of hands. Also everything he does is minus 35%. Hmm. I don't think we're in a position to keep anyone prisoner right now. We need to keep everyone happy, which means having their own bedrooms. I don't have any spare kind of wood because no one seems to be deconstructing. Yeah, it's not the proper time to take people prisoner, and yet it would be incredibly useful. What's he got? What weapons he got? 
bow and arrow. I could do with another I could do another weapon. Having said that, I need to craft it, don't I? That's, there's nothing stopping me crafting another weapon. Um, yeah, a crafting spot. I think making a weapon is probably a good idea. Although, having said that. Easier said than done. Um, he's not attacking, is he? No, not yet. George, where are you going? Meditating. You meditate a lot, don't you? Don't worry about that for now. Oh, there we go. Deconstructing's happening. Perfect. No, 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 no. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. That's that's not great. I see exactly what you're doing. Perfect. Use that to make these walls. That'd be great. Thank you all. Lovely. That's it. Make walls. Make walls. Just, just deconstruct. Seems to be an odd way of doing things. Deconstruct a bit. Go and do a bit. Right, he's attacking. Okay. Everybody. Now, he's going to come up here. We don't really have a kill zone worth much. He's a ranged fighter. Okay, that's fine. Let's um, let's put everybody here. I need him to come close before we engage him. Noah. Let's put Noah over here. Sir is here with a knife. Okay. What are we doing? Where are you going? You're going that way. All right. Fine. Cool. Winged him. Right, I'm not going to sit here and play bows and arrows with this guy. I'll let him move up again. Meanwhile, Noah has got a line of fire down this way if he comes out. There you go. Cool. All right, let's move these guys up now. Let's move Sir in. Noah can keep firing. Let's go. Right, George, melee attack. Stampede, melee attack. Sir, melee attack. Noah, don't worry about firing. <laughs> the big guns of Stampede. We'll take that though. George, can you. Uh, are you any good at ranged? You're okay. Take that. Equip. Fine, we don't need to do this anymore then. Weak. Sir. So I need to lie down, do you, sir? Ravenously hungry. Okay, I'm going to eat. Have a good eat. He slept in the heat. 28. Ooh. Oh, it needs refilling, doesn't it? Yep, okay. Need wood. Of course you do. So, let's do some cutting. Very slow progress. And then... Right, now you can do it. Should bring the temperature down quite nicely. Ah, yes, Mr. Hefe, we need to restrict you a little bit to animals. Does this actually bear any relation to anything here? Okay, that's still more or less. I need to clear it. A loud area actually. Don't need to come in here. Don't eat my crops. Don't eat my crops there either. <gasps> we got some rice. Oh, this grows so quickly. That's amazing. Love it. Brilliant. Stampede, when you finish praying, can you go and haul this rice? That would be excellent. Okay, good. Get some kibble down.
I'm thinking that we should probably try and think about recruiting. Maybe a donkey. 5% though. 5% on taming. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for some mufflow or something else, which is a little bit more easy to tame. Beautiful. Right, let's get this wood in. Let's get this wood finished. Get these doors done. Get the wall done. And finally, this can be on the inside. This really is not putting out any power worth a damn, is it? That's it, Stampede. Put it in. Final block. Ugh, it's inside. Thank goodness for that. 69%. Okay, we're faster. Room cleanliness is dragging things down now. Okay, Stampede. Can we do some cleaning in here? Where's the dirt? Hang on, what? Why can't you work on this? No, it needs wood. Is the room cleanliness purely just because it has a wooden floor? Yeah, it is, isn't it? And there's a little bit of dirt over there. Okay. Blood, even. A little bit better. Alright. Need to get floor flooring down. 321. Plenty of um, metal around, but quite ugly. That's some is that minus concrete minus one? Doesn't matter. I think it's a good investment. Need warm clothes. Yeah. Yeah we do. Hang on. Why is <laughs> what? No, we don't need two lights. Really, really not. Did I build two by mistake? That's quite poor. Let's uninstall that. Okay. The research of batteries goes on. Right. I think we've reached the end of the episode. Well, that was not the most exciting episode, but we have got a mega sloth out of the bargain. Our food situation is now stable. We're starting to get some crops. We'll get some more crops coming very soon. Nice little fast growing patch of rice there is fantastic. So I think we're doing okay. We are doing all right. Now the food situation is sorted, we'll have to have more time to do things like rebuilding so we can get this up and running we can start uh, deconstructing these bits and pieces here although that is steel that's no good maybe over here slate's not ideal just about nothing there's some th things up here marble yep and sandstone so we can get knock that down as well it will free up our free up the uh free up our colonists from having to just get food all the time now we have this so this is positive thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that uh, please do join me on the next episode and don't forget to join me on the live stream on sunday night 8 30 p.m bst that's gmt and utc plus one take care of yourself out there enjoy your weekend and i will catch you on the next one this is now bug pulling the plug <laughs>